So we are working with an ankle sprain. So an ankle sprain is when there's an injury with the ligaments in the ankle that are either partially torn or completely torn due to a sudden stretch. They're often classified in three categories because, of it's, a, because it's a sprain, which means grade one, grade two, or grade three. Grade one is usually just a stretching, grade two is a partial tear, and then grade three would be like complete tear of the tendons. So the etiology is, it's most commonly found from an ankle inversion and plantar flexion as seen like such. So we have a, the resting state and then plantar flexion and ankle inversion. And this can be done by a fall or twist like Joel Berry jumping up and then coming back down or walking on an uneven surface like the bricks here at Carolina. <laughs> Don't laugh, okay. So during an ankle inversion, the most common injured sites are the ligaments because it is a sprain and these ligaments are the anterior talofibular ligament which connects the front of the talus to the, the fibula, the posterior talofibular ligament which connects the back of the talus to the fibula and then the calcanofibular ligament which connects the calcaneus down here in the back of the ankle up to the fibula. So some signs and symptoms of an ankle sprain could be any kind of pain or tenderness around where the sprain occurred. And usually that's found here on the lateral side of the ankle joint. Um, there can be some swelling, discoloration, bruising, and there could even be cold foot or paresthesia, which could, sim could mean that there's any kind of neurovascular compromise as well. Um, some differentials are mainly a fracture. If you have an ankle sprain, you could have a mild fracture. Um, depending on the mechanism of injury. So if it was a, a high fall and you landed laterally causing some kind of serious inversion, you could have a fifth metatarsal fracture as well. That's pretty common. And a lot of overweight populations as well um, who are very prone to an ankle sprain just by standing up and walking around, it could often be confused with gout. So during an ankle sprain, a physician is going to diagnose you with a few different evaluation measures. So there's going to be the anterior draw test which is when you pull the ankle towards you while stabilizing the fibula and tibula. Um, there will be the Taller tilt test, which is any kind of inversion and eversion of the ankle joint, as well as the Klieger test, which is stabilizing the fibula, going into dorsiflexion, and then rotating uh, laterally away from the, the midline of the body. You can also do some kind of imaging techniques as well, being the MRI or orthography to look at the ligaments at the joint. So if diagnosed with an ankle sprain, some important things to do are rice, which are rest, eyes, compress, and elevate. These are all necessary precautions for any kind of injury, but especially for an injury like an a ankle sprain where you're actively going to be putting weight on your ankle, you want to try and minimize that as much as possible. Um, PT is also good to ensure that you maintain that range of motion and that your ankle is going to stay healthy for a longer term. You can also take some anti-inflammatories as well as preventative measures. So that means taping up the ankle prior to, to practice. And that leads into these two take-home points. Ankle sprains are very common. Approximately 25,000 happen every day. And about a million people go to the ER for an ankle sprain every year. So some ways to prevent this would be any kind of proper preventative measure. So that could be taping up the ankle prior to practice if you have a past history of ankle sprains stretching well, warming up, and warming down as well. And if you do get an ankle sprain, they do heal rather quickly depending on the grade. Grade one and two usually heal themselves between a day to, to two weeks, and then a longer ankle sprain could take anywhere from six weeks to three months. Read your body. <laughs>